Mike Shep went to the house and opened up project. Here we are to open up this season. We got the one that the legend will sell. Jay, how you feel? I'm good, brother. I'm good. Uh, just got off the road. I'm a little, little, little tired, but I'm good. For sure, for sure. So, of course, being the legend of the world, right? not just in DV music history, but in art music as well. How does it feel to still be able to go out each and every time and call your moments? Uh, it feels great, man. Like, like I said, for 25 years, you know. Learn, you learn it on the job. You learn you know, how to make up time and just do all the things that you've been doing and have people enjoy it and love and play about you. So for me, it comes like right second nature. And it's, it's, it's definitely a blessing that I make this shit. As much time and success as you have in what would you say are some of the keys for artists to achieve on that? I don't really know, man, as far as longevity because that's really on the people. You know what I mean? It's not really something that you can If that was the case, if you had, I had a blueprint that everybody would be doing. It's, it's, it's the luck of the draw, man. It's the, it's the uh, benefit that you get uh, from being in the studio as long as us as artists are in the studio and just doing, doing music and just hoping for the best, hoping it sounds, hoping that it connects with people. So it's really on the people, and that's why I, I, I've never turned down a picture, I've never turned down you know, a hug or whatever, or interviews or anything. I don't know what that is. What would you say you feel about the state of the art the trajectory, where it's at now, where it's going? I, I, I love where it is for this generation because that's their generation. That's their generation. You know? I think every generation has their love for what they're doing. And um, just like my parents probably didn't care too much for our music, you know what I'm saying? And so, and I mean, I love a lot of the music that's out today though because um, a lot of them use a lot of my songs. And so that shows appreciation, respect, and love for the people that uh, paved the way for them to get to where they are too. So I love what they're doing. They're making a lot of money and if they're making money and making a living uh, with it, that's all that matters. It don't even matter how other people feel about it. They doing their thing. Shouts out to all of the cats out there, the young cats out there that's doing it. Um, and thank you for using my song. So, sure. The last question will be out here. So, Jane Wine today, do you see yourself as a competitor still in the industry, a mentor, and you feel like you have another one? Well, I said, I, I feel like I'm a mentor. Everybody, you know, now I got the uncle status. So, you know what I mean? So now with me, you know, it's like I've, I've been on Instagram and there were a few people, somebody said something, I forgot what it was. And they was like, at this point, it don't matter. He's amongst that. Right, we just right. gonna go support him. Like Frankie Beverly and uh, Charlie Wilson and Keith Sweat and all them. So I really, I strive to um, get to that point because at that point, you don't lose control. And people just love to come see you and hear the hits. So that's what I'm doing and I'm appreciative of that. Thank you, Thank you Ken. Well, all that, this wraps up another episode of Mike Check. Coming soon, more episodes on the way. We out. Stay tuned.